get back on track the simple way. What's up everybody, Coach RJ here, and today I wanna to help you get back on track and win that gold medal like my man Donovan Bailey. So three things. Number one is that we tend to overthink our goals. I want you to start small, and we gotta understand that friends are good, but Facebook is better. So before I move on, I want you to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and let me know, are you on track or are you currently off track? So number one is that we tend to overthink our goals. And we make it so that these goals are super impossible to achieve. For instance, I'm gonna do four workouts in a day because I wanna get my 500 workout jacket. Number two is that I'm going to have no sugar, no carbs. I'm going to only eat 1,000 calories a day. I'm gonna get over 20,000 steps a day and I'm gonna do this for six weeks straight. This is overthinking our goals and this is an impossible action, especially if you're not already doing it. So for somebody that's maybe getting on average 22,000 or 21,000 steps, to say that you're gonna to continue to do 20,000 steps is a breeze. It's literally a walk in a park. But if you're only getting like seven or 8,000 steps and you double your step goal, well, your body, first of all, isn't going to be able to handle it, okay? You're going to get some type of injury. The same thing like doing four workouts a day. You literally have to listen to your body, right? You have to understand the science of what's happening. By doing four hard workouts, and I know that you're working out really hard, by doing four hard workouts and you're waking up the next day and you can't even get out of bed, they overdid it, okay? And you have to reverse that. And you have to really think this out, that if you can try the four workouts a day and see how many days in a row you can do that, but the minute that you feel something goes beyond just muscle soreness, where sore equals sexy, and you're getting into pain, that means that you overdid it and you have to reverse it back a little bit. It's not a terrible goal, you just need to make an adjustment. Now what you can do with that four workouts is maybe you do four workouts on a Monday, right? Or a full body day, but then maybe the next day you do two, right? See how you feel on the day after that. If you feel fine, try the four workouts again. But if the next day after that, you wake up and you're extremely in pain. Remember the difference between sore and pain. Sore equals sexy, pain equals injury. So never get into the pain zone. So keep yourself with an achievable goal, okay? A lot of those goals that I've seen out there are impossible and I appreciate your passion for it, but I want you to set a realistic goal that you can achieve. And once you've achieved it for at least 28 days straight, then we can start to advance it. So start yourself with 10,000 steps a day, start yourself maybe with the no sugar on weekdays and then allow yourself some sugar on the weekends, but keep them achievable and set them for 28 days. Now number two is that there's so much power in just the small things. Now what you need to do is pick one thing you haven't been doing, but know you should be doing it and just do that. So instead of saying, okay, that's it, four workouts a day, uh, no carbs, and 20,000 steps a day, why don't you just say, you know what, I'm gonna make the workout Monday through Friday because maybe you've been missing workouts or maybe you're making your workouts but maybe your steps are lacking. So then you say, okay, well, I'm gonna continue with my workouts but then I'm gonna focus on getting 10,000 steps per day, five days out of seven days a week. I usually like to take the weekends off. It's just a way to bring your body down, let your body naturally recover, but you hear what I'm saying. Start with something that's smaller. Start with something that's achievable. Do that for at least 28 days so that you can build the habit. And this way, mentally, your body can continue to evolve forward and you're gonna be achieving goals. They're not gonna feel like massive goals because the goals that you're setting are achievable, but they're all going to add up over the course of your lifetime. And last but not least, when I said friends are good, but Facebook is better, is that you should use your social media as your accountability partner. If you've ever done a challenge with me, I always tell you to tag me on Facebook or Instagram stories because when you tag me, it actually pops up onto my feed. Now, I'm not asking everybody to tag me, but if you do, I'll probably see it, right? There's a good chance that I see it. I block off time every single day to make sure that I'm engaging and encouraging all, every single one of our members. Now you might not have me in your corner because you're not a part of Fit Club, but I would tell you that if you put your goals out there and you continuously post about them, then the people that are following you are going to support you. Some might not, don't get offended because it might be so far out there that somebody thinking that you shouldn't eat sugar five days a week, they might just say that's ludicrous. Don't worry about those guys. Just keep focusing on yourself. Post it on social media because what's gonna happen is people are going to reach out to you, 
They're gonna support you. They might even wanna jump on this bandwagon with you. And the more support that you get, the more attention that you get in a positive way, the more likely you're gonna stay motivated, more likely you're gonna stay on track, and the more likely you're going to keep that motivation going. So there we have it, FitFam. The three ways that you're going to get back on track, the simple ways. Stop overthinking it, make your goals achievable, make them small, make them consistent, do them for 28 days or longer, and use social media as your accountability partner. So give the video a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and let me know if you're on track right now or if you're off track. Remember, social media is your accountability partner.